so we've also got a thruster in the workout today. Yes. I want you to keep in mind two main parts for this thruster. The first thing I want you to think of is I want you to make sure that while you're doing the thruster, you've got the bar sitting on that rack position. That rack position is only going to be there if you have your elbows up while your butt's coming down. If the elbows go down, you're going to be holding the bar here, which is no good. Just look at me from a profile view if I do a thruster the correct way. Versus if I do a thruster holding it with like a Balkan grip, see how this bar is going to pull me down here? That's what I don't want. So I want to have that bar on that rack position. The other thing I want you to think about is I want you to stand up with enough speed so that this bar literally heaves off of your shoulders. So if I just do a fast front squat and get my head out of the way, the bar should jump. I didn't press that bar one bit. I just stood up and it jumped off my chest. So what I'm going to do now is when it gets to that apex, when it's just about there, it's no longer going up, it hasn't started coming down yet, that is the precise moment when I start my press. Bring the bar back down, jump it up, and then I start my press. I lie. I want to give you one more tidbit about this thruster. Now check this out. When I go down in the thruster, because I'm moving so fast, we all have a tendency to shoot our knees forward when we come down because we're moving dynamically and we don't have the privilege of doing a front squat, getting ourselves all set up, driving our knees out, the clouds parting from above, and everything looks perfect. So I want you to make sure that when you bring that bar back down, as you make contact, you send the knees out. Don't send them forward, which sets the whole system up for disaster. That's what the thruster is going to look like. If this front rack really bothers you, you can keep your hands in a more neutral position by grabbing onto the kettlebell to, to scale this movement. You can pop these kettlebells up, and you can hold your wrist in a more neutral position without having to let that that pain happened right there. You can hold this still, and you can do your thrusters with the kettlebells if you want to. There's a scaling option for the thruster.